Some people are born on this planet just different, with great genetics for certain body parts. They enhance those muscle groups with more than just hard work, and the calves are one such muscle group that can only be big and huge if you have excellent genetics. Hard work is necessary, but genetics plays the main role. I had the most success training calves twice a week, okay, with my body type, really hard, intense training twice a week proved to be most effective. Without great genetics, you can only achieve well-shaped calves, not monstrous horse-sized calves. Eric Frankhauser with 24-inch calves seems like a dream for many to achieve, but he used to have one of the biggest calves in bodybuilding history. Sneak peek at, uh, what, what you got going on? <laughs> I guess, yeah. yeah you, like, you can't even get his pants off, his legs are so big, the calves. I think they got bigger. Did your calves get bigger? <laughs> These things are ridiculous. Oh my God. You take a close up of that. Those are the biggest calves, I, those are the biggest calves I've ever seen. Wow, I thought Jeff Long had bigger calves than you. I think I was wrong. His calves are so big that they overpower his overall physique. When someone sees him walking in shorts, he looks like the Hulk heading to the gym. He has gifted genetics that he rarely used to see. In the golden era, Arnold had the best calves in the industry. He is considered the goat, but Eric had bigger calves than Arnold. Eric Frankhauser has built an impressive physique. Of the body parts and muscle groups, he's commanded to grow. His calves are undoubtedly the highlight of his physique. They are huge and truly stand out. In Eric's calf workout, he contracts his calves at the peak and stretches them at the bottom in every rep for optimal muscle fiber recruitment. Ben Pakulski, the most underrated monster in the bodybuilding industry, has the biggest calves in pro bodybuilding. His calves are so big and conditioned that they look like a chest pack on his leg. He is not very famous in the industry, but he had the craziest physique when he posed on stage, and his calves looked outstanding, giving him a monstrous look. Even Ben Pakulski believed that he had the best genetics in the world, which played a big role in building his calves. He looks like a Terminator in real life. This mass monster had one of the craziest calves in bodybuilding. Dorian brought the conditioning that no one had. Muscle separation, size and conditioning are always at their peak. His calves are just muscle striated, big and rock hard. Anyone who says they're not impressed with the shadow's conditioning is lying. Interestingly, Yates performed just three sets in his calf training routine. The first set of the first exercise was a warm-up, and he went all out in the remaining two sets. Tom Platts, the old-school bodybuilding king, aka Quadzilla, had the biggest legs of his time. He had monster quads that still look legendary today. His calves are also considered the best in the industry. Tom says that back in his day, everybody did calves like six days a week, but he had the most success training calves twice a week. With his body type, really intense calf training twice a week proved to be most effective. He did normal calf raises, standing calf raises, and seated calf raises primarily. Those two major exercises. Lee 
priest being only five foot four, weighing more than 200 pounds with dense muscle, is widely known for his monster forearms and biceps, but he also has big calves. Lee had the best genetics in the bodybuilding industry. He is short, but not small at all. For his big calves, he does weighted standing calf raises, weighted seated calf raises, and bodyweight standing calf raises. Terrazzo, aka the Boston Mass, turned his calves into fully grown cows. At 5 feet 10 inches tall and 245 pounds, Mike wowed the audience with his enormous 23 inch arms and the biggest calves ever seen. He trained the hell out of his calves, loading the calf raise machine up to 700 pounds, doing 15 sets every day. He was hitting them with donkey raises with half the bodybuilders in the gym on his back. range of motion is key. He stretches and contracts as much as he can on each rep. He gets a peak contraction on every rep, holding it for a second or two. He trains his calves the same as anything else, hard and heavy. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family, hit the like button and subscribe to Bodybuilding Beast Motivation for more content like this. So, this is for the day. Remember to subscribe to VD Muscle Motivation and hit the bell icon for future updates. Also like and share this video.